Oh my gosh, welcome. We're going to uh, divide these polynomials by binomials and it's just pretty much your birthday. You should be so excited. Okay. Um, I am going to be pretty detailed in this video. If you don't need quite that much detail, I will link a video over there in the corner where I go a bit quicker. Okay. Also, I'll link a playlist where there's lots more dividing problems when we've got like polynomials divided by polynomials. We've got some monomials thrown in there. Anyways, those things may be either for you to review or are coming up. I'll link those over there. And also don't switch videos. I'm going to get to the problem really fast. Um, I'm going to assume that you are comfortable with factoring as I go through these problems. Um, I will explain a bit of what I'm doing, but I'm not going to go into like great detail. If you need more detail on how I'm factoring. If you're like, what the crap is she doing? I'll also link some videos over there. Okay, now let's do the problems. I hope you stayed with me. Okay, so you may see problems written like this. You may also see them sometimes written like this, the long way. If you see them written like this, just go ahead and put this on top of that like this. It's just a lot easier to work with, especially when we're doing factoring. So, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top guy and factor it, okay? So when I'm factoring something with four terms like this, I like to start and look at the first two, okay? And I look at what can I pull out? What is the same between those two? So I notice they both, I can pull out an x squared, okay? So I'm gonna pull out an x squared. Also, I should have mentioned whenever you're factoring, it's always good to take a look at the big picture and make sure there's not something you can pull out from everything, okay? Um, but that's not the case here. So we looked at those first two terms. We pulled out an x squared. When I plot that x squared, what is left is x plus four, okay? If I multiply that x squared back in, I will get the x cubed plus four x squared, okay? Now I'm going to look at these two um, terms here, negative nine X minus 36. Um, both of those numbers can have a negative nine pulled from them. Okay. So I'm going to write negative nine. And if I pull that out, what I'm left with inside the parentheses is X plus four. Why is it a plus four? Because when I multiply this negative back in, it will make that a negative 36. Again, if you're getting a little lost, that's okay. Check out those other factoring videos, okay? Now, this is all um, still over that x minus 3, but I'm going to get it all the way factored before I place it back over that x minus 3, okay? So now what we do next is I notice what is the same between these guys. They both have an x plus 4. So now I'm going to pull that x plus 4 out, okay? So I'm going to have x plus 4. And what is left is x squared minus 9. Okay. Now, I can still factor this further. This x squared minus 9 is a difference of two squares. So, um, factoring that, it will be x plus 3 times x minus 3. Okay, so that was my numerator, my top number, and now it is all the way factored, okay? If I were to multiply these together, I would get this guy, okay? So this is now this. So this whole thing is over x minus 3, okay? Now we are simply crossing out uh, the things that are the same, right? So x minus 3 over x minus 3 leaves me with just 1, so those cancel, okay? So what I am left with is x plus 4 times x plus 3, okay? And that is your answer. Um, it is possible your teacher might want it uh, multiplied out. That's probably kind of personal preference for your teacher. If they do, just go ahead and multiply this. So x times x would give you x squared. x times 3 would give you plus 3x. x plus, sorry, x times 4 gives you plus 4x. 4 times 3 gives you 12. And then I add those. So I get x squared 
plus 7x plus 12. Hopefully I said all my plus and times is right there as I was going quickly. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at this one. We're going to do the same thing. So first thing when I'm factoring, you always want to look and see if there is a number you can pull out of all of them, which I'm not seeing a number or a variable, I should say, that I can pull out of all of them and I'm not seeing one. So we're going to look at our first two terms and they both can have a y squared pulled out. So I'm going to pull out a y squared. And if I pull out that y squared, what I'm going to be left with is 2y plus 3. Okay. Then I'm going to look at my second two terms. And I notice what can be pulled from both of them would be a positive 9. Okay. And what I am left with then would be 2y plus 3. Okay. Now, again, this is still over that 2y plus 3, but I'm going to get it all the way factored first. So now I'm looking at these two and they have in common the 2y plus 3. So I'm going to pull that out. Okay. So I'm pulling out the 2y plus 3. And what is left once I pull that out is y squared plus 9. Now you might be tempted to say this is a difference of squares and do y plus 3, y minus 3. But that is not the case because it's plus. If it were minus like over here, we could do that. But since it's plus, this does not factor further without fun things we call imaginary numbers. Be excited they're coming. But for now, that's as far as it'll factor. Okay. So this is my numerator factored. So I'm going to write it back over the 2y plus 3. Okay. So those cancel. And I'm just left with that y squared plus 9. All right, you're done. Okay, check out those other videos if any of that factoring was kind of like, what? Um, hopefully you can get your homework done. Go to bed, have dreams of math and our neighbors.